When you work with data in an Angular application, you'll have to pass data between different components, but most importantly, you'll have to pass data within a single component. So like from the HTML to the TypeScript class and vice versa. To pass data, we do use data binding. And data binding is a way to synchronize the data between the TypeScript class and the HTML template. When the data flows in one direction, we have one-way data binding. So for example, from the view to the TypeScript class or from the TypeScript class to the view. When the data flows in both directions, we have two-way data binding. And when the data is passed using an event such as a click event, then we have event binding. Interpolation is the simplest way of passing data from the TypeScript class to a view. But let us go to the project and learn how to pass data using interpolation. In here, I'll just go to the Explorer and then you go inside the source folder app and then go to the app component.html. I'm going to remove this code and then I'll go to the TypeScript class. In here, you can see that we do have a property it's named title and then in here the text is movies app that i'll just type in here the title of app component now if you want to display this value to the html file so to the html template using the interpolation all you need to do is you need to use double curly brackets so in here i'll open one open another curly bracket and then close them both and here now you just pass the property name that you want to display within the h1 tag so for that i'll just type in here title and then i'll save the changes and go to the app as you can see here in the app we do have the title of the app component now let us go and try to pass another value so in the typescript file I'm going to type today is equal to, and this is going to be a new date. And then let's go to the HTML file. And then in here inside an H3 tag today, and then just type in here today. Now let us also go and define, let's say an image URL. So that is going to be image URL is equal to, I do have an image that I have uploaded for this course and that is HTTPS and then .NET, how.net slash images slash movies slash movie dash one and then dot JPEG. Let us go back to the HTML file, a p tag, and this is going to be image URL, and this is going to be the image URL. So as you can see, it's really easy. You just define the property in here. So basically, the value that you want to pass to the HTML template, and then just use double curly brackets and that is all you need to do so let us go back to our app so here now you can see that we have the title we do have the today this is the time in the central european time zone and that's because i'm currently located at this time zone and here you also have the image url and here you can see that the date is in this format which is not readable but if you want to change the date format, it's really easy by using the Angular pipes. And that's what we're going to check on the next part.